Hello indie game fans, things are absolutely ridiculous in a good way for day 3 of Not E3, where there are, I kid you not, 3 figures of indie games that are worth a mention, with day 3 alone comprising of the Guerrilla Collective, Hosen Direct, the Future of Games Direct and the Future Games Showcase, but rather than putting 100 games into one video which is a huge task, I've sorted them alphabetically and broken the entire list into smaller videos like this, so stay tuned to see all the indie games of interest. Let's begin with 30 Birds, a wonderful looking hand-drawn puzzle exploration title where you have to find 30 birds within the city, but how the landscape wraps around geometric objects is rather interesting to me. I'm expecting adventure game style puzzles in this, where the art alone makes this of interest. A Walk with Yaya is a short narrative adventure about spending time with your grandmother, going on a walk with her to restore her confidence after she had a scary fall, looking pretty cosy. If you love classic turn-based Japanese-style RPGs, watch my video linked in the top right. But in addition to that, Alterium Shift is another awesome game of interest, resurfacing and throwing its head during the summer showcases. It is a very retro looking title that mixes 2D sprites with 3D buildings and enemies, which gives it an interesting look, with systems like fishing as well, looking like it's for fans of the genre. I was quite impressed with the showing of Arctic Awakening, a first-person narrative adventure game where you crash land in the Arctic during a snowstorm and have to find a way to survive, most curiously, having an AI drone as a companion. It sure looks like the long dark, but I don't think it's a hardcore survival game, but rather one with a central mystery to uncover which looks compelling. Wait, power station? Out here? Hey, Donovan. Donovan, you copy? Huh. Curiosity drives us forward. Leading us to explore the known. And challenge the unknown. Yet it also makes us forget our limits, and attempt to control that which should never be touched. I've mentioned Astergo's Curse of the Stars a couple of times on the channel before, but this third-person action-adventure RPG looks fantastic, so enjoy this trailer which nicely sets the mood. This path is always fraught with danger. The curse of Aphis has proven this. 
And none of us should repeat the same mistake. Similarly, if you're a fan of top-down action-adventure RPGs, but Tora Lost Haven is one of interest where you have to harness the power of sun and moon in a sci-fi world to take out your enemies. It is not quite Diablo, but it's more of a Zelda-style game with handcrafted dungeons on different planets, where the mixture of sci-fi and fantasy is interesting, having both aliens and dragons in this game. There is fast-paced combat, puzzles, multiple planets to explore, NPCs to meet and decisions to make leading to multiple endings looking like a very promising title. A fascinating looking multiplayer first person shooter is Boundary, not the title that I would have chosen, but it is entirely set in space, so I do wonder how the guns work and feel in this game. Of course, the lack of gravity might mean no bullet drop, so weapons may be head scan only, but that does feel weird as well, and add to that 0G movement with 6 degrees of freedom, and you do have something curious here. I think Brad and Fred only got a very short showcase during one of the sizzle reels, but this co-op frustration platformer is definitely worth a mention. The developer of this seems like pure evil, where just imagine playing something like Jump King in co-op where your characters are tethered together and you get the idea. I see this being the ultimate test of friendships and relationships whenever it releases, looking like a very challenging game from that point of view. A fantastic looking title that you might have missed is Breeze in the Clouds, mainly because this game does not have a Steam page just yet, but looks like an awesome action platformer where you play as a little corgi. It 
it looks fantastic with impressive animations, but the combat and combo system is the most important part. So stay tuned to this channel and I'll let you know when we have more concrete details. Let's kick off the top 3 with A Frog's Tale, a pixel art turn-based RPG with musical elements, launching its Kickstarter campaign after it was showcased and has already been successfully funded. It is an adorable looking title set in the world of frogs, where our protagonist gets swept up in an epic quest to find an ancient artifact that may just be able to revive the dead. It looks very much like a Mario RPG, since you can initiate combat in the overworld and thus have active QTEs in the turn-based battles, but thus add in a musical or rhythm factor as well. Ella Loth Champions of the Four Kingdoms has long been on my watch list since this open world party based action RPG looks fantastic, previously showing up on my list of upcoming games like Diablo to look forward to. The Four Kingdoms here are ruled by the various fantasy races, and while it does look like a CRPG, it does have real time combat that looks good, with a nice surprise being that this is releasing very soon in early access, so do keep an eye out. And of course, Being and Becoming gets a special mention since this is a gorgeously animated pixel art metroidvania set in the world known as the Collective Dream where you play as the lucid dreamer with the task of breaking the world free from endless slumber. This setting allows for some absolutely nightmarish enemies to be designed, so I do hope that the combat is great. As a side note, Publisher Critical Reflex seems to be new, but has signed some fantastic games already, making them one to watch in the space, taking the number one spot. For more Metroidvania games, watch these videos and I will see you after the jump.